Welcome to Auto Shop Showcase with Gary Gunn. Today's guest is Cody Woodworth of Apex 11 Marketing. Hey folks, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, I'm going to have a showcase event here. I wore my red shirt because it's uh it's a great guy I've got on the on the on our uh, on our showcase today. His name is Cody Woodworth and we're going to ask some questions and get a clarity on what he does for the automotive industry and hopefully that works out well. So Cody, you're here uh you're in South Carolina and I'm in Kentucky. And shop owners all over the country here in the USA. So, Cody, tell us a little bit about yourself so they'll get a feel for who Cody is. All right. Um, basically, um, in a nutshell, what I do is I help auto shops boost their car count and their bottom line through various customer acquisition methods. Um, my focus is helping owners strengthen their online presence and build a killer reputation um, and also trust with their local community. Um, as well as streaming their marketing and communication with customers, which pretty much is essential for growth and yet somehow very overlooked. Um, most shops sadly don't have any modern marketing plans, and if they do, it's implemented quite poorly, which leaves huge opportunities for um, who's ready to step in and you know take the lead. Um, that's pretty much, uh, in a nutshell, what I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what I think is important here is yeah. that you've really niched down a little bit here yeah. into the automotive industry. And matter of fact, you, you responded to one of my Facebook ads and that's how we <laughs> got to know each other. Yeah. Pretty interesting. And so he wanted one of those SOP starter kits that we offer out there in the marketplace. And, yeah. and Cody responded. I called Cody. We talked and here we are right now on, uh, on showcase showing you all the possibility of, of what Cody can do for you. And the next segments that we have coming up, we'll dive more into that. So this is more of an introductory segment. So hang tight, another segment is on its way. Hey folks, we're back again. Uh, I'm not gonna number these segments because we don't know how many we're gonna do. So we'll just get started. And uh, I, I wanna thank you here. And what I wanna do is lay, make up a headline. If you open up a newspaper, you see a headline in that newspaper. You see a headline on a website. You see headlines on advertising cards that come in your mailbox. And we want to we want to put this headline into you. In here it says how to get ahead of ninety nine percent of auto shops. So if you wanted to be above everybody else in your marketplace, whether there's ten shops in your town or in Houston, there's over seven thousand shops. So just to give you a rough number, in Bowling Green here, we have 22 automotive repair shops. That's not counting car dealers. So how do you get that 99%? So remember that 99% because that's what we're going after. You want to be ahead of the other 99%. So, Cody, in the auto shop marketing that you do uh, on the in the online basis, how, how did how what you do get them into that prime spot of 99% better than everybody else? All right. Well, basically um, it's of course what we focus on is online and it's, it's 2024. It's an online world and mostly on mobile. Uh, people are doing their research on their phones. Um, that's how they find you. And the question is, are they finding you and are they catching their interest? Are you catching their interest when they do? Um, you need to be visible and you need to have credibility. Um, you need to have great customer engagement, which actually can also be mostly automated uh, with what we do. Okay. And um, you need to have that competitive edge, which of course is what we're all building. Yeah. What, what do you say? Uh, what the shop owner we're talking to? Well, we've already got, we've got a website. Yep. We have a Facebook page. We have all this stuff going on and, you know, we're getting pretty decent rankings. We're getting a lot of people, you know, giving us five star ratings and three star ratings and all these kinds of things. So to, to move up to that 99% approach, you know, what, how, how do we know what's missing? Absolutely. How do we know so, how we yeah. can get better? Yeah. So that is the question. And that's the one that's really hard to answer for a lot of people. And, you know, where it takes that that knowledge and understanding of somebody that is you know handling these type of things. 
And there's, there's a lot to it. Um, and what we do is we kind of look at all of those factors that you just mentioned. You know, how is their rankings? How is their reviews? How does their website look? Is it optimized? Uh, we look at all these type of things and we, we find out where the strengths are for that business or where the weaknesses are, um, as well as other implementations that they may have never even heard of, like, um, you know, adding missed call text backs and uh, re-engagement campaigns and uh, things like citations, which um, is, you know, getting your name, number and email out there to more various platforms and having it all interconnected, which can strengthen your rankings. So there's there's a lot of different factors out there um, that can improve these things. And there's a lot of optimization on the things that they already have. And then, like I said, also incorporating some other things. So when you you take all this into consideration and uh, you look at it all, you you start to fine tune it. You know, you start to tweak it just like uh, when you're building a car, you, you know, just put a fresh motor in, maybe you supercharge or turbocharge it, you know, you throw it on the dyno and you start tweaking those numbers and you start figuring out how can yeah. I squeeze the most performance out of this car? You know, you're not just going to throw it on the street and hope for the best, you know, you're going to take it to the dyno and you want to do it right. And that's kind of like good. what we're doing here with, with the marketing, with the business. Good, good. So remember, folks, we have five bays. We're looking for five shop owners that are raising their hand and pulling themselves into that bay so Cody can get started helping you. And he's not looking for 5,000 customers. He's looking for five right now. He needs oh, yeah. five folks. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, Very personalized. And, you know, I consider, you know, everybody we work with as a teammate, as a team member to what we do. Um, and it's very, um, like I said, it's personal. So I'm here to help you. We work together and it's all about building up something better for everybody. And for you guys, of course, yeah. that would be to, uh, you know, get more cars in the bay, to get your reputation out there, to really just, again, like I've said before, you know, it's, it's about the fine tuning and it's something that we do together. And it's not, you know, you're not just a number, you know, I say it's kind of like, um, you know, like we're the pit crew uh, to, let's say you're, you're the race car driver, you're out on the track, you know, we're here, we're the pit crew, we're trying to get your car in, trying to get it fixed up and get it back out on the track as soon as we can. Good, good deal. Okay, this is kind of close out this section, but remember 99% and five bays. That's all we're wanting to feel right now. So don't wait around. Okay. <laughs> hey folks, we're back again, man. This, this, this is exciting stuff to me because it's, it's now it's it's what's going on in our industry and the world and and everybody's carrying that phone around and man they're looking at it and they're doing all kinds of stuff they're checking things out uh but there was something cody and i were talking about the other day it was an audit and cody if you would tell us a little bit about how that audit works so you get to know more about those five shops that we're interested in serving so how does the audit work yeah absolutely so um so the audit is is pretty much like um consider like a bumper to bumper inspection in a way. You know, we're gonna look through everything about your business um from from the surface. So we're gonna take a look at the website, we're gonna see how it performs, see what kind of content and information is on there. You know, is it resonating with the customer? Are they able to uh, find the information they need easily? Um and so we we look at all those aspects and we also look at the Google side of things, you know, when you search your business, what's showing up, what kind of information is there? Um, how does the Google business profile look? You know, the ratings, the pictures, the information. Um, is it easy for somebody to connect the dots between all of these things? And um, ultimately, we we look through all of that and we figure out where the strengths and weaknesses are with that. Um, and we put it on a list, we put it all in a PDF and we we go from there and we take it, you know, the bite sizes of each of these and really optimize how we can, how we can tune each one of these, with these pieces, you know, so if they need more to work on the reputation management, you know, we talk about how we can do that. If, if it's website optimization or SEO, um, you know, we kind of go into detail about all of those different things and really open up the, all the ideas and all the benefits to what we can do here to each client, each customer. Uh, so they understand, you know, where they're at and where they could be. And the, okay. the, so the, the audit thing, is looking at everything and then you come yeah. back with them and say, this is what I see. Yep. Absolutely. Now, what would you like to fix? Right. Yep. Yep. And this again, our bumper to bumper inspection. Yeah. And now, now what are we going to fix? 
Yeah. And with that, you know, it's like, what would you like to fix? And the thing is we can, we can decide to fix some of it or fix it all, but of just like anything else, even with a car, you start with the most important thing, you know, what are the things that are going to give the absolute best results the fastest? Um, yeah. And yeah. you start there and you work your way down and it could be a continual progress uh, process. So over the course of a year, you know, you start here with this thing, which could be optimizing your Google business profile and your citations. And then you kind of work it down into the next thing and the next thing. And, and you know, that could be done over over time. All right, great. Yep. Well, thank you for kind of clarifying that word audit. We think yep. the IRS is coming in with an audit, <laughs> but this is not the IRS. Okay? Absolutely not. This, this, yep. this is Cody's company coming in and saying, okay, I'm going to do an audit of what's going on. Here's what we see. And here's some areas you can improve. Yeah. And with your approval, we'll start working on those. Is, is that a good way of kind of summing this up? Yeah, absolutely. And the beauty of it is, you know, we give all this information to them, you know, and this is at, at no cost to them. You know, this is just us saying, hey, here's the things that we see. This is the things you can improve. And if they wanted to, if they wanted to spend the time, it's something that anybody could achieve um, and figure out, you know, just like anything, you can, you can figure things out. Um, but you know, the nice thing is you could do that, or you could hire somebody, you know, bring somebody on your team that is experienced in handling these things, knows how to do it the right way. And the most efficient and his way. Team could be Cody, right? Be yes, it could be team. Cody. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, you know, it's somebody like me where we go in there and we do it all, we do it right. And we, we maximize and optimize everything to its fullest potential. Sure. Good, good deal. Well, thanks for sharing that. That just kind of cleaned up that audit word. Yep. And so <laughs> we'll move on from here. And this closes this segment. Out. Okay. Hey, we're back again. And, and folks, it's time for a little commercial. Here's our headline. We're back to that 99%. How to get ahead of 99% of the auto shops in your marketplace. And, you know, we were talking about this audit. We were talking about all these different things. And we talked about, man, here's your shop. And we got five bays empty. Cody has five bays that are empty. So he needs five auto repair shop owners to drive into those five bays, go through the audit process, and start engaging with what can be done and what could be done with your permission to gather yourself up into that 99%. Be 99% better on this little machine right here in your marketplace, right? Because that's what people are using every single day. So Cody, do you want to add something to that little commercial? What do you think? Um, yeah. I mean, to get ahead of the 99%, um, it's actually easier than you think. Um, you know, looking through many, many businesses, uh, looking at the different audits and stuff, um, and this isn't even just for auto shops. This is most um, businesses and service-based businesses, but obviously we're talking about auto shops. Um, most, you know, a lot have websites. Uh, some are some are okay, some are great, but, um, you know, many people don't have websites or they're not optimized or they don't have their Google uh, business profile. And there's a lot of things lacking on the online presence. And some people, some might think, oh, they've got their website, they've got all this, you know, we should be fine. But, you know, they don't realize how much more they could be doing with it, how much more optimized that it could be. Um, and, you know, getting your rankings higher and all these things, which is all really important when somebody's searching your name on Google, you know, you want to be able to show up higher. You don't want to be on the second page. You don't want to really be on the bottom of the first page. You want to be okay. visible as soon as you can be to, uh, you know, the people within your area. And, um, you know, it's so important to to do that in this day and age because that's, you know, that's one of the big ways people are finding you. And um, it's yeah. really important. And yeah, getting getting to that 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 high level, luckily, is is it's very, very doable because not many people are doing it right. So when you have somebody yeah. that can get in there and, and fine tune and optimize these things, you know, it can be a really big win for for most people. Yeah. So I want to close this out. Remember the 99%. We just want to dominate our two to three or four or five miles. We want to dominate that yep. on the in online world, right? And remember, there's five bays. We're looking for five shop owners. Take one of those bays and jump in with Cody. Thank you so much. We'll come back again with another segment. 
You know, Cody, I was thinking the other day, I was just scratching my head while we were talking about doing this. And, you know, we're talking about these five bays. We're asking five shop owners to move into these bays and, and, and start engaging with the audit, engaging with Cody to see if there's something they can do in their marketplace to have a better presence. And, and and get connected to the people that are looking for them, right? And may not be able to find them. So what what would be a good what fear? That always gets in our way, doesn't it? No, yeah. Yeah. What 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 are these shop owners you think how how do you put that fear to rest? Yeah. And that's that's a tough one for a lot of people, you know. Um you know, a lot of people don't face their fears and they, uh, they stay in the comfort zone. And, you know, when you stay in the comfort zone, what happens? You, you, you kind of float, you know, you, uh, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep getting the same results. And sometimes you got to take that leap and uh, go beyond. Um, and a lot of times you can take that leap and things fail. And, you know, that, that is part of life also, but sometimes you take that leap and things excel. And, um, you know, a lot of things I've, I've seen, you know, many, many people that are successful, they've taken many, many leaps and most of them have failed. But at some point they take that one leap and it was the one that just took off. And, you know, that's that's the one thing about what I do at Apex 11 here is that we wanna be that, that one that takes off. And, you know, we're confident that that can happen. And, you know, if, if we don't think that we can do that, then, you know, we'll let you know. We're not uh, trying to scam you. We're not trying to sell snake oil, right. you know, yeah. none of that kind yeah. of stuff. It's like we look at your business, you know, if, if you're doing a really, really good job um, and you've got everything under control, I'll tell you, you're like, hey, you know, you guys are fantastic. Here's a few little things you can do. And here's that. And but you know what? You're good. Um, but, you know, in most situations, um, you know, there's really a lot that we can do to to help improve and and optimize um, things with their online presence. And as far as, you know, the fears go, um, I know there's a lot of a lot of marketers out there that um, you know, a lot of businesses that have tried marketing in the past. And uh, I don't know why, but for some reason, you know, so many have had bad luck with marketers and, you know, really bad experiences of putting bad taste in their mouth. And I guess there's just really a lot of bad marketers out there. A lot of people that, you know, try to get into it and don't know what they're doing or maybe getting into it for the wrong reasons. And unfortunately, you know, it's, it's there and a lot of people take the bait and it happens. Um, and it's sad, you know, cause then, you know, maybe they, they said, Oh, marketing's not right for me cause it didn't work and they never tried again, but you know, marketing does work. It absolutely works, especially if you do it in the right ways. And again, that's where we try to come in and we, we show them that value. We show them that, you know, these are the right ways to do things. And, you know, you can, and as long as they can see that and feel comfortable with it, then, you know, that's really our goal is that they understand it and they know that, Hey, I can see how this works for us. I feel confident in it. And then they'll feel more likely to, to actually give it a try again and, and continue. Yeah. And while you were talking there, I thought, Hey, these, these five shop owners are sitting in these bays and they're driving their car or they're driving their business, you know, and they're all smiles yeah. because You've done the audit. You've gone over some things that they could do. And then you move through that checklist of things that could be done and make it better. Yep. And you do it with their permission. You're not yeah. just going to go try something without telling them what results may be. So I think that removes that fear factor. Yeah. Because I don't think Cody is going to do a bunch of things without getting your approval first. Yeah, yeah, you know, it'll be a step by step plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fine tune this. I'm gonna put a new spark plug in here. I'm gonna <laughs> put a new tire over here. You know, that's that, that's what he wants to do off of this audit. So, folks, this is a fearless way to get something done with your marketing and the online presence around your shop, the two or three or four or five miles. So, Cody, I'm gonna wrap this section up. The man, remember the fear. We just removed the fear. So don't fear it, folks. Just get in those bays and let's get started. Folks, Cody and I were talking, man, we covered a lot of territory here. We covered territory about fear and we called the five bays and the 99%. And we called about this audit. And, you know, another term that came up, Cody, and I love what you said, is this beyond, beyond the beyond 
free. Let me get it right. Beyond free. Those words <laughs> you don't see together a whole lot. And they're kind yeah. of hard to get kind of rolled on my tongue and they don't come yeah, out yeah, to yeah. you. So it's beyond free. And you mentioned that. And so what, what, what do they get on this beyond free? What, what's, what's that about? Tell us. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, uh, you know, the audit, it's, we don't charge for the audit. You know, I want somebody to be able to comfortably come in, come to me and say, Hey, how can you help our business? And I'm not going to be like, Oh, well, you know what? It's going to cost you this much for me to tell you how much, or it's going to cost you this much for me to tell you how your business can grow. You know, it's none of that, you know, come to me, you know, there's no commitment, no hassle, no like pushy sales tactics, none of that. I'm just going to look over your stuff and I'm going to say, okay, this is what I found. And this is all of the things that I really believe that can accelerate your business. And I'm going to tell you what these things are. And I'm going to pretty much push it to you on a silver platter and say, this is it. These are the things yeah. that can help you. And then at that point, it's truly up to you to decide if you see the value in these things and if you want to take action on it. Oh, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to close these segments out. And I want to thank Cody for being here today with Showcase. And hopefully you all decide to do something, pull the cars in the bay. And you know what? My alarm is going off of my phone. So I'll just go ahead and turn that off. I had a two hour alarm. So uh, th this is like sitting in the backyard. That's what Cody and I are doing. It's it's some of it's unscripted. And you know, that's the way we like it because that makes it real. Yeah. And Cody's real. Gary's real. Your auto shop is real. All of those people working for you are real and the customers are real. So I love that beyond free. Five bays, 99%. Like and subscribe to Auto Shop Showcase on YouTube and your favorite podcasting platform. Visit autoshopshowcase.com to sign up for monthly mentoring with Gary Gunn.